Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. Today we got a couple jobs we need to get done on the R32. Uh, first off, there's a little chip in the windshield that needs to get fixed. Then we're gonna replace the airbag, add some brake line clamps, maybe put the sticker on the rearview mirror, and then I got a package in the mail from Germany. I think it's gonna add a couple style points to the R32. So let's jump into it. First, let's open this glass repair kit. Never done glass repair. Uh, I think this was $9 on Amazon. And look, I get a free gift if I uh, share my experience. Which one of you is sending me the free gift? Thank you. Okay, okay. All right, so I've opened this uh, baby up. What's it say? Do it yourself windshield repair kit. Inside here we have a sticky cup. Looks like some resin. Sticky cup thingy that screws on there. Some plastic strips, instructions, and a razor blade. Before I forget, uh, it says it needs uh, some UV lights to cure the resin. So basically it tells you to put it in the sun. There's no wheels on the car and I don't have a skylight in here. So I did pick up uh, a UV light, hopefully it cures it. If not, uh, I guess I'll do this again. Let's jump into it. Clean the area area is Colleen. So basically you want to put the suction cups around the chip. The chip is now in the middle. I know you guys can't see it. You want to screw this down over the chip. So that is on. All right. So this actually pushes the resin in. So now you get your little resin doohickey. It says put three to six drops in here and then you push the resin in with this. All right, so what you wanna do is compress that silicone mouth at the end of here. Uh, now we put some drops of resin in, in there. Three to six drops. Now put this in. All right, I think I need more drops in here. Okay, much better, much better. Yeah, definitely needed a lot more. You can tell that that resin is getting pushed in to the crack with this pressure nozzle and now the crack is becoming more invisible. It says leave this for four to six minutes and then I'll figure out what to do next. Now I have my UV light that apparently is meant to cure this stuff. Um, we will see. I'm gonna leave that there for about 30 minutes <laughs> and move on to the next project. Well guys, while that dries, I'm gonna have it there for a bit. I'm gonna clean up these uh, brake line mounts with my new uh, hand and tool wiper. I used this brand before, love it. Uh, there's only 30 wipes in there. This one has, I don't know, I think 80, 82 wipes in there. I love this stuff. I don't have uh, water in my garage, so just wiping my hands off between projects is perfect. Normally you'll see I wipe my face and then I got oil all over my face. But let's wipe these up so I can install them on the new Bilsteins. So the heat shield for the brake lines are on. That was nice and easy. Uh, I was able to take them off my old shocks. So brake lines are secure. On to the next project. Um, hmm, what to do while that's drying? I don't want to you know, move the car too much. I think we shall do the airbag. On this airbag, there's a big dent here. I know it's pointless. Uh, to worry about but knowing there's so many owners there might not even be an airbag in there So to remove the airbag you actually need the car uh, The steering wheel to work. So I'm gonna hook the battery back up But here is a good video how to remove a VW steering wheel from humble mechanic. I will leave the link uh, below for this video uh, He will explain it ten times better than I do. So next time you see this it will be done. I know it's skew there, but it's not actually skew. It's just locked in the you know safety mode but yeah it's uh no dent was it worth it i don't know it cost me 60 bucks maybe it's worth it and uh yeah so now i'm gonna clean this up 
We're gonna go back to this because I just did another coat of it to try to get rid of that one bubble. And then it's on to something that's gonna give me some style points. So it's pretty nice that that uh, flashlight works. I'll leave a link to that flashlight below. I think it was 13 bucks. So for $23 ish, you can fix a chip in your windshield and there's enough resin in there to do it a couple times. Looks like there's still some air in here, but this was a weird looking crack. It was like inside the window. I'm sure if I spent more time on it, it would be done better, but looks much better now than it was before. And that's it. Alrighty, let's check what's in the box from Germany. So we got some tools. Let's hope it fits. Let's hope it's right. Let's hope it fits. Let's hope it's right. And we got a roof rack. Yeah, baby. And boom, we have an OEM uh, roof rack. <laughs> Why? I think it'll look cool on this thing. Uh, I know some people think it looks stupid. Uh, I personally think it uh, makes the car look a little cool. And plus, I can uh, put a, a surfboard on top and act like I'm athletic. Or maybe I'll do a surfboard and a snowboard at the same time and just leave it like that all, all year round. Let's see if I can install this. Well, guys, you win some and you lose some. So. Yeah, this is for a four-door car. Uh, and I don't know if you know, R32 doesn't have four doors. <laughs> so pretty simple to install though. Um, you just pull down this flap and then there's the bolts there. And then there's a, a wrench in here. You tighten those and then it just clamps on. So this is uh, nice and sturdy. And then you pull down, oh. Oh, no, no flap. Oops. I'm pretty sure this doesn't fit. Pictures on the four door. Instructions on the four door. Uh, hmm, this is in German, so I don't know what that says. It's cool that there was the receipt from uh, Otto House in Berlin, 209 DM or 106 Euro back in 1999. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, so to make the best out of a bad situation, if this doesn't fit, which I don't think it does, which is fine, this will actually be my light bar for ice racing. That way it's easy to put on and off. I can run a wire in here. There's a huge gap in here. I don't like it, I need to clean it out. But anyways, and then I'll just have a, like a little plug switch here. I'll put my rally lights on here for uh, winter time and pa-ding, then I don't have to mess with the front bumper. So, yeah, and then because I have two, why not do two different configurations of Riley lights? <laughs> Anyways, well, hashtag fail, but hashtag making the best out of the opportunity you've been dealt. So, thanks a lot for tuning in today, guys. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and tell me how to order the right parts the first time. But until next time, I will see you then.